All right, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I am exhausted. I just woke up from a nap, so bear with me on today's stream, please. But we're gonna play more Get in the Car Loser. That's about all I've got to say. Let's jump into this. Here we go. And I think I fixed everything this time. The transition should work correctly. There we go. Love to see it. All right. We click back into the game. Load game. Oh, we're all almost dead. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I actually want to start chapter two of the... Whoa, let me turn the volume down. Last thing. I want to start chapter two of the DLC. First, I need to go heal. Because Jill Gamesh kicked our ass. Alright. Wait, Sam, before y'all run off. Oh, yeah. Lucy? Y'all are traveling along local Route 1, right? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Al, can you come over here? Also, I've got. I've got a cup of coffee here, because. It's been a day, it's been a night. Can bear with me. Hey baby, what's up? Oh god, I love you. Are we traveling on local route one? Yeah, for like at least the next few hours. Eventually we gotta turn off off to head to Lesser Anastasia though. Well, I've got a friend here who might need some help for as long as you happen to be nearby. Hey cat, tell him. It's so fucking cute in this game. You don't have to do this. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm sure they're happy to help. Hey, we're on an adventure to save the world. Of course we'll help. What's the problem? It it's nothing as big as the fate of the world. <laughs> it's important. Hey, babe. Let us be the judge of that. I bet the world would be mad if we saved it but left a girl looking so worried. What's the problem? Val's got, Val's got their priorities straight. Mrs. Linja, thank you. <laughs> I am, I finally got the transition to work correctly this time. <laughs> Val, Val, where the hell are we, Val? Damn, Bebs, you have no idea what this game is, but it looks a lot of fun. Uh, well, like Sanguinary Novel said, this game's art direction is relentlessly cute and gay. It is a lesbian road trip to save the world. It's kind of a uh, JRPG, a lot of visual novel, and you are going to get to watch me just thirst over all the characters for the next couple hours. My ex-boyfriend has been causing a lot of trouble lately. He fell in with those machine devil creeps after we broke up and... Oh god. Um... And the machine devil creeps suck. They're basically alt right. Well, he's been sending a lot of upsetting messages to me. I'm worried he's gonna show up at work. I work at the diner along the highway. <laughs> Pause the scene. Oh, were you? Oh! You were the were you the were you our waitress? Or maybe even worse, I don't know. It's not a rational worry. I'm just blowing it out of proportion. You're not. You're absolutely not. Show them the messages. They'll tell you yourself. Uh, okay, sure. Here, let me pull it up. See? <clears throat> what? Jeez, this is so fucked up. Uh, I'd be worried too. <laughs> I'm sure we can help. Right, Val? Yeah, absolutely. Here's my phone number. If he shows up and we're around, we'll swing by. <laughs> I love Val. <laughs> Linda, you're not sure you can make it the entire stream because he spent the day at the shelter and just came home for a long walk. So. Okay, that's fine. Like, <laughs> yeah, take care of yourself first and foremost. I've, I've been having to do a lot of that lately and have I had to miss several things and tell people like, hey, I'm kind of rough. I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's fine. Totally fine, I understand. 
no hard feelings. And if they've already driven by, I'll come myself. It'll just take a bit longer. Aww. Oh, well, thank you, so thank you so much, you all. Oh, I should have done something sooner. Hmm? Uh, sorry, nothing. Seriously, just let us know, okay? How? There's a bit of backstory here. I I want to know. Of course. I hope we can help. Well. Uh, Better yet, I hope you don't need any. Thanks. Hope you have a safe trip. Damn it, that was his. That was his phone number, wasn't it? Did you see something with a phone number before? Oh, that that sounds vaguely familiar. Does does anyone in? Oh, I meant to heal first. Now save. Also, G and Bebzy, if this is your first time here for one of these streams, <laughs> buckle up, because uh, explaining the mechanics is a trip in and of itself. Oh god, they're so cute. I love Angela as well. She wants to back. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna buy any items. Good. Let's buy some. Plus, then we can upgrade some of our other stuff. We don't want to use it. All right. That Samos is good. Five battle energy <laughs> puts one out ally and boost state for next five battles. Oh yeah. Okay. Promo doll. Promo lighter. Okay. Um. So for starters, our characters don't have stats. They have. Like, their equipment is what affects their stats. Um, and the way we get better equipment is by upgrading it by... Gotta navigate the menu. Do not ask me to explain all of this. Uh, you basically have to sacrifice other equipment to make old equipment or new equipment more powerful. I am never going to use the field guides. Also, hold up, hold up. Let's upgrade some of the stuff from the um, DLC, because that stuff is really good. Get rid of all the field guns. Wait, that's not, that's not, that's not one of the DLC items. Um, oh yeah, it won't have a rank next to it if it's a, they just match everything else first time for one of these you finally caught one can't promise not to doze off though oh you're fine i know you've been you're sick again i've been yelling at you take some rest you have not been listening hey let's keep those because those are untyped damage uh like the untyped damage stuff. Um, well, I might. I'm running low on stuff that I can sacrifice, so I might. Might sacrifice some healing, cause don't have to heal as much if we finish the fight faster. Okay. So we did get some rank six stuff. Let's see. Um, lead six plus. Yeah, let's or five plus. Let's equip that. What else do we have? Pack five plus. My five plus. That's. I don't like the elemental stuff. It's. Mm. What's critical do? Minor exploit damage to a single enemy every fifth use. This deals overwhelming exploit damage instead. Counts as might. Not what I meant to do. Oh. Hmm. And I'm gonna go.
go with a attack. I, I'm go with something a bit more consistent. And, uh, Oh, I really don't like the elemental equipment. It's just not worth it to like I can I can do super effective damage if I use it against the wrong the right enemies. But the fact that uh Oh there's not more Oh, never mind, we're not doing we're not doing the next DLC. Okay, hold on. I had to update the stream title accordingly. I'm sorry. I lied to you all. Can't believe they would withhold beach time from us like this. On the bright side, everyone gets to stay in their swimsuits. Sam, give me your phone. Also, let's choose where we're gonna go next. Let's go to this level five fight. What? I mean, okay, fine, here, but why? Thanks, because I want to see. Uh, that's pretty vague. Sam, may I ask thee a question? Uh, okay, sure, but if it's you have games on your phone, I'm just gonna open the door and walk out at 120 kilometers per hour. I don't. Angela, baby. She's just joking. It's hyperbole. It's true. I'm just exaggerating. It'd be like 100 kilometers at most. <laughs> I understand not the dynamic at play. Thou allowst grace to push thee around despite thine own embodiment of a princess archetype? Oh. Uh-uh. -uh. Just because she's also named Sam and easily protected doesn't make her a princess. I can see it. She does have princess hiding amongst the common folk vibes. No, I don't. Well, maybe. I'll definitely protect her regardless, though. Val can protect me. Okay, guys. Can we knock off the princess thing? Please. Seriously. Uh, seriously, actually, for real? Sorry. But thou art... What was that? But thou art what now? Huh? Huh? What were we about to say, Angela? Oh, is there no cooldown on Regen? I'm just learning. Oh, cause it, it keeps going on one person until I switch it. Okay. I kinda get it. Ugh. Oh. Why did I make like a disgusted sound? Because I'm the opposite of disgusted right now. Okay. Well, now let's do this little five fight. And also let's top off. Our health. Also, no. Why am where's my That looks better. Uh, Z to use item now, then X to actually use it. Dave. That's thou art. Hey, she said not to. No, thou misunderstandest. Misunderstandest. Another word that breaks my brain, apparently. Speaking of apologizing to Sam, uh, hey, Sam. Oh god. Oh. oh boy, flustered. Oh fuck, what did you do? Dramatic. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Heroic. Out of my mag. Oh god, these are such big words for me. We have to go with Rowdy, though. I only accept apologies in the form of fucks. 
Hey, Cher. Glad you can make it. No worries with being late. I see you caught up to the car at 120 kilometers per hour. Great job. What have you missed? They're not allowing us to go back to the beach. Guess we're just too hot. Oh yeah, and we're gonna go with Rowdy. I only accept apologies in the form of hugs. It's the only way I'll know you're sincere. Okay, how about they send you a text message that starts with an asterisk, has the word hugs written out, then is closed by an asterisk. Grace fucking calling me out like this. Can't believe this game knows me like up. I forget what Ace Queen does again. Also, that's just a cool attack. Or a cool name. Out here, we respect our Ace Queens. Yeah, the fight music is really nice, Jan Bessie. Also, kind of the way the fights are done with the music and then the uh, postcard cut cut-ins showing who dealt the final blow at the end uh, reminds me of um, the world ends with you, which is honk buddies. <laughs> oh my, do I have to put the honk on my phone as well? Is that what we have to do? Okay. I might turn that into an, one of the um, alerts as well. I think that's the best I can do in a moving car. Are you gonna do that when it's my phone that you have? <gasps> oh, Sam wants the hug! Okay, so in my defense, there's a perfectly good explanation for this. A hydrate alert? That's not a bad idea. That will remind me. Is it standard custom amongst mortals for perfectly good explanations to have such dramatic fanfare before their arrival? It's maybe not a great sign. Oh, we should rest. Thank you, Jay and Bubsy. I forgot how to hydrate. Uh oh. There we go, back in the game. That's two, Val. Okay, whatever. Just skip to the part where you know what did you do? Let's pray first. Because whatever Sam or whatever Grace said, we're gonna need divine intervention. Let's just be honest. Or at least Sam's gonna need divine. Because I want to know what Grace did. Or I'm excited for it. Okay. Euro request. Oh, the 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 side quests. Let's do this fight first. Keep building up anticipation for what Grace did. It also threw me off uh, hearing the battle music because I'm now so used to the DLC's rendition where it's that non-vocal version that I don't know what I would say the music is like. Broke Sam's duo lingo streak. Used all of Sam's currency and whatever gotcha she's playing. Only got a bunch of like three star pools. Well, I wanted to see what that gas app looks like and it turns out it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Also, it's pure chaos! The user experience sensory overload! Be everything! Don't even get me started! I've got opinions! Oh god, I feel that. Grace, that means nothing. You have opinions on everything.
Damn busy, you need to learn the name so you know what's going on. Okay, from left to right, we have Angela, who is an angel. Surprise! Uh, then uh, to Angela's right, we have Grace, who stole the Sword of Fate and is basically the destined hero of the world to destroy the Machine Devil. To the right, we have Grace's boyfriend, Val. Uh, <clears throat> and then to the right, we have very right, we have Sam. Who is the center of our nice little polycule and who are we are going who we are mainly controlling and who we are going to get to date every single person here. That's about it. Like literally all things. Oh, this is a oh it, it means the the, the Double clock is required for this fight. That's right. So it's harder condition. And it's rank seven. Jesus. I may have goofed. Oh, we still have Zantetsuken. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot about that. This is Linja. Val is non-binary, um, but Grace does refer to Val as her boyfriend. But is non binary. Yeah, otherwise, everyone else, uh, she, her, and then Val is they, them. Just gonna top off. I know that's a little overkill, overkill, but uh, playing it safe. It's not true. I don't have opinions on like I don't know agriculture. Can I grow tomatoes in your dorm then? Truly, neutrality is not as tenable as I once believed it to be. Ugh! Shut up. Anyway, I accidentally opened the Photos app. Oh, oh yes. Anyway, <laughs> I accidentally opened the Photos app and I found the folder full of babes wearing unique configurations of half naked. Research. Yeah, research. Oh wow, I knew your current threads were hot, but I didn't know they were thoroughly researched too. Damn, high level. <laughs> Personally, I didn't even know there were that many ways to be half naked. Did you really think up think about dressing up like all of these? Yeah, you know, thingy, your finger slips, you hit the all apps button, oops, you hit the photos button, oops, you also hit the babes folder. It happens. We've all done it once or twice or at least a dozen times. Right? Grace, you are killing me here. Apology unaccepted. Yeah, you're gonna have to give us that hug for us to accept the apology. Hey, did you see the folder that was full of pictures of the recently deceased? It's labeled selfies, but trust me on this one. <laughs> Gotta hide my babes folder more thoroughly. Yeah, just put it under your mattress in a folder that's named like miscellaneous and then one that's just and that's inside one called new folder and the one above that is just program files sam that would be a tragedy because thy current fashion is the only one amongst us powerful enough to give life to the departed oh angela yeah well unfortunately i'm now getting more attention than i can handle so i'm dead buried in the ground cover my body with a modest six inches of dirt Oh yeah, let me... So yeah, we can... Okay, cool! We can't change between the swords! So let's see. Use 35 times a Malaton lock roads. Uh, still, I want to stick with Zontesican because that's just so good. Forget the Sword of Fate. Oh yeah. Like, for anyone who missed the last one, the beginning of the game we had the Sword of Fate. Sword of Fate. I don't think he more needs to be said about that. Um, <clears throat> it automatically 
as we cycle through our attacks and we get to like our fake fate anyway we uh, throughout battle we can instantly stagger one enemy and um get our party temporary hit points uh the dlc we got zontetsuken which is a new sword for grace that allows us once per battle to instantly banish a single enemy or boss face to the shadow realm once per battle works in all battles including bosses <laughs> It's so good, and it's like, yeah. Oh, thank you, Cher. I was admittedly in a rush. I woke up. I was like, hell yeah, let's do this. Get in the car, and then got the haiku. So thank you once again. You don't have to. You're always doing that. <laughs> taxes, seriously, taxes. Boring documents, forms, templates, saves. Shit, I've got to hide my folder again, huh? Thank you. Mind me to do that after the stream. I'm pretty sure you do in fact like the attention though. Dragging us on, like at least a little bit. I like lots of things that are fatal in large doses, Grace, and your attention all oh, is definitely one of them. Her attention is pretty good, EVH. Yeah, see what I mean? We are gonna get Sam with all of these people. The poly cool poly car. Oh, fuck! Why do I have elemental stuff equipped? I wanna, I wanna save Zontetsuken for. Oh wait, I can change targets and then use it. Right. Okay, so two things we need to do after this battle. I need to unequip that elemental equipment, and I also need to move my babes folder. Uh, so let's see. Also, we're leaving this one. Because that just it's super effective damage against all elemental enemies, and that's very good. Okay, so let's see. I don't want that. I mean, I do, but we don't. Uncanny light. All alloy exploit abilities. So do stagger damage all effects last. Mm -hmm. Well, that might be good to just instantly stagger. Juggle. Launch a staggered enemy into air with damage split over three attacks. Doesn't work on bosses. Uh, I don't want to keep changing equipment. Because I'll forget to change equipment. So we're, we're not doing that. Termination. Deals massive exploit damage to a single enemy if it would kill. Otherwise deals minor exploit damage. Ooh, no, I don't like... Um... Mm. Yeah, let's use the Halloween pencil, that could be fun. I greatly look forward to experiencing it myself. <laughs> you know what's good? When she looks you over when she doesn't think you're looking, it smirks just a little. That's real good. Oh, intriguing. Again, at two Val? Why must you betray me like this? Val's just happy to share. I'm not, that, that's, that's cool with Val. Now you know how I feel you hear the wind whisper from my grave. for the recently departed Sam. Um, anything down here? Nope. Are these going to be new conversations or the ones from last time we were at a gas station? Let's check. 
great thing about interactions at a gas station is that if you put your foot in your mouth, you'll never see that person again. That's comforting. Who talks to other people at a gas station? Unless they become famous, then it'll still haunt you forever. Oh uh, no. Oh no. Uh, hey, do you think the shrine looks okay? Sure, I guess. You guess? Was something unsatisfactory? Can I fix it to help inspire your prayers better? There's something missing, maybe? I didn't mean it like that. I think it's fine. Are you sure? You tell me if it wasn't fine, right? It's great. I promise. It's perfect. I'm certain my prayers are heard and answered perfectly by God. Zero problems. I promise. <laughs> you. Tell me if there's something I should change, okay? Can we, like, change how it looks? I guess not. I mean, I'm cool with the bird aesthetic. Like, my only complaint is there aren't more birds. <clears throat> Alright, Angela, you said you liked attention, so here you go. Wouldst thou believe it? A young man was flirting with me just now. Who would ever flirt with Angela? Um, I mean, yes, of course I would believe that. Have you seen you? Oh. Is this like in a good way or a bad way? Well, he said my beauty was so radiant he worried that the rest of his life would feel as though he was living in perpetual shade. It was a charming cliche. <laughs> oh well, that's good. Ah, but then he said that he believed the union betwixt us could produce... Mm, no! Kick his ass to the curb! What? No. Oh man. Gross. I'm sorry. That dude has gotta fuck off. Yeah. That's fucking... Don't ever do that. Indeed. I am deeply displeased. As well as deeply confused by the proposal due to it suggesting an impossibility. Yeah. The only kids that guy is gonna... The only kids that guy is gonna have are on a tissue and a trash can, which is where he also belongs. <laughs> I am certain of this. Then pleasant Having trouble talking? I'm gonna have some water. <laughs> that was brutal. An unpleasant sentiment to share with a stranger, to be sure. However, half an angel? How would such a thing be manifested? Uh... Sam, I... <laughs> Sam, Sam, I need to know. Sam, where do half angels come from? Sam, Sam. <laughs> The half angels. <laughs> Is this a thing where you bully me to, into explaining how sex works and then at the end you go, ha ha. Oh, wait, those are kids. You thought I didn't know what sex was. Angela, please, you're gonna kill me. Actual reproduction? Hold, I pray thee, Sam. Trust when I say my question is sincere. You speak of genetic recombination. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. I have but one follow-up question then. Dost thou believe I am comprised of cells with a deoxyribo deoxyribonucleic acid deoxyribonucleic I used to know how to say this. Deoxyribonucleic acid core. Is that the common understanding? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think I understand the question. Dost thou believe I possess DNA? <laughs> I... Yeah, I guess. I mean, people are animals, and don't all animals have DNA? Ah, I understand the misconception now. Sam, I am not an animal. I was not created through the process of genetic recombination. We are both, we are both creations of the creator of all things, but not in that way. Wait, really? For real? Angela, if you're doing a bit, you have to tell me. My sincerest apologies. I truly thought thou knew. 
I was created when the creator of all things spoke a word to manifest his will, and that will took light and form. It's true that I appear in the image of both thou and thy creator. However, I am built not from protein chains, but from the echoes of divine utterances. And I want to be built from the echoes of divine utterances as well. New transition goals. Is that a metaphor? You're made of something that's like DNA instructions, but different? No, oh, I speak literally. I appear in this form before the out of a personal choice to bend light such that it takes this shape. God, for real. Man. Transition would be so much easier if I could just bend the lights around me to look however the hell I want. Yeah, I'm with you, Sangy. This physical body thing sucks ass. I'm writing a nasty letter to God right now to say, hey, I want you to speak forth some divine utterances into my ass. Creator of all things created the divine order as manifestations of his divine will to protect the humans he created, beings of a pure and free will from chaos and evil. The divine words constituting my being have no physical mass that a human could study or perceive. They also they echo in a space humans cannot hear. There is simply no analogy to genetics. But I digress. Tis unimportant. I hope we can share a friendship despite not being the same manner of creation, Sam. Aww. I definitely don't get the details and it's rocked my very understanding of the nature of the universe. But still, I'd love to be your friend. And more. Let's see. Dear management, what, what the fuck is up with this? Find an unhappy customer. Oh man. Al's got some booty shorts on. I'm gonna let chat just appreciate that for a second. So can the sun. Alright, I'm buying stuff now. We feel. Uh, let's get let's get some support items. It's been a little while. <laughs> Outfit inspo, honestly. Do it, share. Yeah, dude. Can I get a new? Oh yeah, for some reason, it was, once we started the DLC, it gave us the stamps for the other places as well. But yeah, I've got the crop top, I just need the booty shorts now. Okay, we've done everything we can here, right? Oh, equipment. Let's see... Da, 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 da. Love rabbit. Uh, I mean, slow is on. But it's also just a low rank. So it's falling off in utility pretty quickly. Let's see. That's actually nice. Oh yeah, mug. Oh hell yeah, let's let's equip mug. And the upgrade mug. Do we have enough stuff for it? Uh, probably not. We'll do that later then. Jump in the car. A query for the party, if you would. Fight time. Alright, come on. Gray Scott got. Still got Grace. I'll dare. Oh, item for oh heck yeah <laughs> free items why have I not been mugging
Oh shit! <laughs> Then we can just start, we'll have plenty of healing and I'll have stuff for upgrading equipment. Oh man. Shoot. Of all thy foes encountered thus far, which would each of you say was thy least favorite to do battle with? Jill. Oh, they're so gonna throw whatever, whatever we choose at us, huh? Also, Jill is not on here. Those fire hose guys. Definitely those damn vines. The vines are annoying. The cross between a bird and a zip. Oh, those aren't too bad. The little guys with all the damn friends. I, I do hate enemies that can summon more enemies. It's one of my least favorite mechanics. Um, <clears throat> But they don't do a whole lot of damage. Huge pinch. Oh, my son Tetsuken, it's not too bad. The nurse squids. I do hate the nurse squids. You hate healing enemies. <laughs> Thank you. Hugh Pinch. And Bebzy, you definitely thought that said hippo. And I read hippo at first as well. <clears throat> A hippo lighter. Uh, kind of leaning toward the nurse squids, honestly. Honestly. <clears throat> Open its mouth for a fun surprise. <clears throat> I'm just imagining a lighter in the shape of like the hungry, hungry, one of the hippos from Hungry, Hungry Hippos. <clears throat> Fucking nurse squid guys the tentacles and the saw blades and the healing ah uh, no solidarity for your fellow healer I have solidarity with my friends they're un this is fucking why I hate fighting healers in games if they're undoing all the hard work my friends are doing and dealing damage <clears throat> like that that's why I chose it because it's one of the worst feelings to just be doing all this progress and for it to just be just disappear be ripped out from under you because it's like why was why was i doing all this then what was the point of the last like five minutes if you're just gonna erase it why i hate i hate healing cross between the bird and a zippo is definitely an original final fantasy 7 enemy yeah i mean if you fight a fucking house like Hellbird. Jam Bebsy failures of my get for people that need lighters and have hungry hungry hippo nostalgia. <laughs> it's it's a very small market. But you're guaranteed to sell with that with those customers. I didn't really think they were all that hard to be honest. Then who wouldst thou say was thy toughest enemy? Oh, that's easy. Equivocation. Cowardice. The willingness to preserve the status quo. You know, all those enemies you can't hit with the sword of fate. <clears throat> Damn grace. I can't argue with that. Grace, if you ever answered an exam question that way, I would flunk you for sure. <laughs> True heroes don't need good grades. Anyway, Angela, why do you ask? I have no grander motive, I suppose. I feel somewhat alienated from all of you, even after all our- Oh, Angela! Oh. Each of you has a close connection with another, but I feel as if I have little in common to discuss with you. I feel I'm uncertain of a way to describe it. Oh, Angela, sweetie. Left out. Mm. <laughs> I want to give her a hug. <laughs> They did! They threw the fucking squids at me just like I thought they would! Oh, and they're gonna rank up. Uh.
fucking called it. I, I knew they were gonna pull that shit on me. Oh god, Val. Oh! Oh, Val, Val, Val. I'm sorry, Val. So, where's... Rust, where's Rust? Assards. Rude. Ugh. Did I save before this battle? Oh god. Oof, I... I... Don't remember if I Oh god, oh god. I don't remember the last time I saved. Oh thank god. Okay. Saved after that time I mugged. That's good. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I think also if I lose a battle, it'll just put me. I can choose to go back to right before the battle. Thing. So. Oof. Okay. Indeed. I suppose so. I don't know, Angela. I mean, Grace and Val are super close for sure. I'm definitely kind of nervous about being a drag on the group too. Oh, Sam, no. You're like the glue that holds them all together. I mean, like, the rest of you are all super confident adults. I'm just here wondering if we should get a child seat card so I don't smash through the windshield of life. <laughs> oh my god, Sam. That metaphor is doing a whole lot of work. <clears throat> I'm just saying. If anyone's the odd one out, it's probably the nervous baby surrounded by a bunch of hot, confident adults capable of dealing exploit damage in battle. Hey, um... Sam, I assure thee, I share thy lack of confidence in all honesty. Aw, Sangi, share- no, no, you both are great. You get adult seats in the car. Also, you don't gotta worry about smashing through the windshield. That's what seatbelts are for, baby. They keep you secure. <clears throat> hey, how come when I call myself baby, it's humiliating, but when you call me baby, it's like 100% illegal how good it feels. <clears throat> I was once very secure. It involved... <laughs> <laughs> it involved chains. I think thou wouldst not have liked it, in veritable honesty. Hey, Angela, do you want to get closer to understanding us? Try this one on for size. BBH. <coughs> We're done. Means, to be honest. Ah, I see. <coughs> well, I think thou wouldst not have liked it. TBP. <laughs> well, you're trying. You got the spirit, Angela. <coughs> Perf. Again, pardon. I know not the meaning of this perf. God, Angela is killing me. <clears throat> uh, also, it has been an hour, so we are going to take a little break now. And then we'll jump back in the car. So get out, stretch your legs, get some snacks, get some water. We will be back in five to ten minutes. Yes,
All right, I am back. Hope everyone enjoyed their break. Let's get back in the car. We're pulling out from the stop. Let's get back on the road. Oh yeah, I did heal. Yep, we're good. Wrong button. All right, so let's see. Oh, we've got a level, level six fight. <laughs> we should be able to deal with it, but I'm gonna play smart. And then we'll learn what perf Are we targeting nurse squid? Yep. Again with the healing. No. Stole a samosa. And that will do it. <clears throat> Alright, and then next, let's do this level 5 fight. Oh, it's actually just a word that was invented to, to describe you. Christ, Val. Oh my god, Val. Are you done flirting? <laughs> uh, we, we got some monsters. Val, Val, please concentrate. Val, we're dying. Uh-oh, Angela. Got, got again. <laughs> Al is never done, and you know what? I'm fine with that. <clears throat> I get it. I still- I know I've pointed this out several times, but I love that Grace is standing on top of Val in this, because I didn't notice it the first couple times. I did this stream. Val's just so happy. Alright, so let's let's do this level six fight. <clears throat> Sorry, babe. No need to get jealous. I promise I'll give you plenty of attention next. Aw. <laughs> I'm not jealous. Anyway, Angela, speaking of chains, why do you still wear them anyway? Are they magic or something? Do you need help removing them? Or do you just like them? My concern is Admiral, but no, it's merely... I desire to wrap them around the Machine Devil himself and teach him what his weapons feel like. Oh man. real quick so we can mug. <laughs> God, I love Angela. <clears throat> I mean, she could have just said, like, I like him, but... We'll do this one next. Damn, that's metal. And TB he. I enjoy the look upon Sam's face whenever she realizes she's been staring at. <laughs> oh, cold out. Oh, come on. Please, Angela. I don't know why you're worried about not fitting in with the group when you're clearly owning me just as hard as everyone else. Perhaps a role exists within thine established dynamic for me after all. You see, um, you are the glue that holds this little little polycool together. <clears throat> I don't even know if we have an established dynamic. For example, my lovely sweet Valentin. It's always weird for me to call Valentin Val. Or to call Val Valentin. I tend to just stick with Val. <clears throat> it's absolutely been turning up the volume by 20% every time someone new comes in. 
Baby, where are these percentages even coming from? Am I wrong? Well, maybe not. You are, you are the mathematician, Val. Is it possible that Angela's presence has maybe just a little turned us all into a bunch of idiots stumbling to impress the cool, beautiful angel? Like, maybe a little. Maybe like a lot, TBH. Ah, I see. I do not mean to interfere. If thy goal is to impress, consider it accomplished. Angela fits right in. I don't know what she's worrying about. Oh, yeah, let's, <clears throat> let's say she makes Sam just as flustered as everyone else. All that's required here. Uh, oops, meant to da, 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 use this. Angela gets up. Valiant heroes, tis my honor to serve as your inspiration. Oh shit, that hit hard. Oh, these are... Oh, I just realized they're like rank eight. Oh God. Oh, is this the... Oh, is, this is this is that one request that's a uh, fight 30 of them, I think. Okay, and the rest are rank 6. So it was just that one rank 8. Also, I like how each one has a different little fanfare when it enters. That fucking porn. Sound cute. Yeah, it needs to be the honk. Setups working pretty well, taking them out. Basically, just working a circle around the keyboard. I'm hoping at the end there's just like one gigantic one that shows up. <clears throat> King Jerk Army. Where do we want to go next? Ooh, gas quest shrine. Even if the inspiration is to be a bunch of losers. <clears throat> Sam, don't get carried away. You're definitely still the exemplary loser. Truly, I would rather be the inspiration of losers who make a stand than the icon of winners who stand for naught. Damn, then I guess we ought to continue to be a bunch of dumbasses. Or, you know, justice. Oh, God. Al is an amazing Dumbo. Besides, I have turned against the divine order itself in joining you. My manner of speech may differ from yours, but I assure you, I am capable of equal foolishness. I do love me a fool. Dumbasses for justice. <clears throat> Social justice, dumbass. Damn, Babsy, you love Val. That is... No, you should love all of them. Like, yes, love Val, but love all of them as well. Loving Val shouldn't just... That should not be all. Damn, now that's inspiring. Is it, though? Let's heal first and then save because I keep save, heal, save. And that's just silly. Oh, oh. Person over there to talk to. Uh, yeah, let's do the talking and then we'll do with the buying. Is this one of those cultists blocking the entrances that Lucy told us about? 
Yeah, he's a regular tripping hazard with all the gen genuflect. What? Okay, I don't know what that word is, so pause. I need to look this up. Genuflect. To bend the knee or touch one knee to the floor or ground as in worship. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I, have, I have just... Not only have I never heard that word, I've also never seen it before. Genuflecting. I've got strength given to me by the soon and rightful mighty... Jo oh god, oh, we spent several minutes last time me just trying to figure out how to pronounce this. Joan, Joan, Joni Von Ho? I'm just gonna say Joni. That's easier for me. Powered by blood sacrifice. <laughs> Jen, you keep flecting all over the place. Oh, God. Thank you, Sangi. Jared, you beat me to it. Aw, glad both of you were on the same page. You two are wonderful. What are you gonna do? Fight me with the power of penis in? Compensating for something with that sword? Oh my god, I am I will take this sword and shove it right up your dick. <laughs> you know, I don't normally go for people like you, but maybe you'd make for a good sacrifice too. I bet your blood would give my devil arm at least another plus five to strength. Oh god, it's a gamer. Are you talking about murder? Of course not. Murder is when you kill humans. I'm just talking about... Ooh, fuck this guy. Yeah. We're shoving this sword up his dick hole. Who do you kill for the power you're bragging about? Tell me their name and I'll go easy on you. <laughs> oh god, it is. <laughs> oh god, even the same hair. You know, your type always postures about taking the high ground. They're the ones who always immediately jump to violence. What, you're gonna fight me? Dude, you were just saying you were gonna... No, no, I know this tactic. It's not worth arguing with them. Let's just kick his ass. Sometimes that's what you got... Ooh, you okay there, buddy? Oh. <laughs> he, he's not even worth our time. That was so fucked up. Yeah, well, one arm band down, two more to go, right? Oh, uh, what? Let's heal and pray. Right into the forbidden zone. Sent him right to the incel zone. Can we play a little DLC? Billy State to TBA? Oh, is it not? It's not been completed yet. Yeah, let's turn in these quests. I'll defeat two more. Okay. Oh my god. There's gonna be two more of those assholes that we're gonna have to send to the Shadow Realm. But in purely hypothetical terms, hast thou not ever considered for a moment the idea of laying down thine arms? I mean, why though? I'm an instrument of the creator of all things, will to protect humanity. I need arms to do that. Are there not other ways humanity can be protected? Is there not other calamity, other suffering that thou couldst aid unarmed? What? What meets thou? There are many ills in this world which cannot be fought with arms. Surely, poverty, starvation, misery, loneliness. The plight of those who have fallen through the cracks of society, 
Are they not humanity in need of protection too? But I love you, Angela, more and more with every moment. Well, yes, I suppose thou art right. I mean, it's for all humanity, but still. The creator of all things gave me a spear. Should I not use it? Did the creator of all things not also give all of his creations free will? Did he not empower us with the ability to choose the path ahead of us? Sure, but he did also give us the ability to see all things that lie ahead of us on that path. That's pretty important. Dost thou remember how this conversation started? Thou saidest, a girl called me a tyrant, and I don't understand why. Yes. Yeah, right. Well, what I say is this. Thou as an individual have the ability to help humanity. Thou art empowered to do so without standing with the divine order. It's not tyranny though. Just because the divine order holds arms to protect humanity doesn't mean those arms are pointed at humanity. Ooh, oh boy, it's one of these folks. <laughs> Mortals perhaps won't see it that way. All they see is that a myriad of paths lies ahead of thee, each with the ability to help, and yet thou hast chosen the path of arms. What wouldst thou have me do? Just abandon the divine order? Abandon our creation of all things? I can hardly see how aiding the mortal creations of the creator of all things in the way that they ask of thee is anything but enacting our mutual creator's will, surely. But I would not have thou do anything many of our order have forced their will on others already. Aw, uh, I dare to get him. We're just having a philosophical talk with some angels. There is but one thing I would ask thee to consider. If thou turned thy back on the divine order, who would find happiness in what thou couldst do instead? I guess I don't know. I would not expect thou to know. I do not either. It's simply something I have, as of late, been giving a great deal of thought to. Just walk away. Hit the bricks. <laughs> what a concept. Much to think about. That's right. Think about it. It sucks. Hit the bricks. Uh, how, how do I get over to that dude? I'm just gonna hide in here for a bit longer in case those cultists come back. That's legit, dude. That's legit. Okay, let's see. Do you have more requests? Nope. Just wondering if talking to Lucy again would bring up more options. Alright, let's uh let's refuel. Oh yeah, we can get one of these. Auto heal app. Instead of wasting time picking healing items from a menu, simply let this happen. All at once. Uh, perform a single item. I, I just, uh, I hate that it's got blockchain card. Description. Try the auto heal app, shall we? I'm curious what this does. And then, da, 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 da. sticker pack, sticker pack. We can get stickers. Finally! Oh, look at them! Oh, I don't want to use them for upgrading. I just want to keep them. Oh, I like the snoozy one. And not not Qbert, legally distinct Qbert. Oh. oh, they're all great. No sugar, full heal, new elixir. But let's get some more equipment. Mostly so I can upgrade equipment. And then let's get some support items. Yeah, it is like a Tamagotchi, huh? I was thinking Qbert, but yeah, I see that. Um, so what can we upgrade? 
I want to upgrade mug because that's that's doing some work. Oh, buy stickers. <laughs> I missed them already. I think I made a mistake. Man, let's upgrade region. We've got enough. Let's see. How many items do we need? 12 or 36. Okay, so 5, 9, 16, 25, 30. Okay. Yeah, we've got enough. And I'll use some of these. And we'll save. And let's see, we're at an hour and a half. It's five o'clock my time. I'm hoping to get an early dinner. So I'm actually gonna call it here for today. Though so we will be back tomorrow for more of this. So keep an eye out for that. But thank you everyone for coming. Again, as always, it has been a lot of fun. <clears throat> um, there was something I was going to say before I head out, though. Oh yeah, reminder that this weekend I'll be starting Chicory. That's going to be my new weekend game that we'll be playing. Um, and also... Um... Well, you're welcome, Sandy. <laughs> Dear Diadem, glad you could stop by. Um... Also, uh... God, I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I have a new, uh of goal I'm working toward too. Um, once I hit 75 followers, currently we're at 67, um, I plan to do another BizHawk Ring Shuffler stream like I did last weekend um, where it was a bunch of Sonic games and Samari and every time I collected a ring in one it would shift games. <clears throat> I'd like to do another one of those as an incentive for getting to 75 followers and if we get there I'm gonna do those Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Samari again. But I'm also going to throw into the mix Sonic Advance 1, 2, and 3, and Dr. Mario. Because apparently Dr. Mario works with the Ring Shuffler. I have no idea how. I have some suspicions. I don't want to know how it works until I actually do it. <laughs> but uh, that that's going to be the goal, and I want to turn it into, like, a big longer stream <clears throat> probably with some longer breaks between um but yeah so that's something to look forward to eight more followers and we'll do that uh but yeah for now dr mario because the o is shaped like a ring oh there we go <clears throat> every time mario is on screen it just shuffles we just never get to play dr mario Good evening, everyone. See you all tomorrow. I'm gonna get some dinner now. Have a good night.